wonderful Monday evening, guys. Hope you had a good start to the week. Um, I'm back to work also. Had the weekend off. It worked. <laughs> um, one of the few successes lately. Um, nah, I'm exaggerating a little bit, but it was a fantastic three-day weekend. Very quiet. Got a little bit of stuff down around the house, but mainly just kind of hanging out and doing stuff that I like. Uh, so, wasn't too bad going back to work today. Actually, it was a very enjoyable day. So, I hope you had a decent start also, uh, much like I did. Cheers. Uh, I know I wanted to do a shave yesterday on Sunday, but... Yeah, under the influence of massive food intake, uh, I rolled onto the couch and that was it. Uh, I had a German dish, I made that myself, uh, called Käsespätzle. And uh, I'll put that underneath here, how to spell that. And if you care to figure out what it is, uh, yeah, you're going to have to Google it for a little bit better description. Pardon me. I've got mustache hanging in into my mouth here. Uh, it's basically, uh, if you want to simplify it, a German version of mac and cheese, kind of, sort of, ish. <laughs> so, yeah, hmm. over eight slightly. Oops. Anyway, need to get this uh, this growth out of my face. It's been on there what for three days now, and uh, yeah, so. Uh, since, hold on, we'll start out with the new product today. I'm uh, just polishing it up. We'll be using this today. Uh, some of you might know this as a Baili. Uh, some of you might know this as the Razor Rock Tech 2. Um, fairly inexpensive razor over on the Intec. Yeah, over on the Italian Barber site. Um, I think it's somewhere around $10. Put it here if I'm mistaken. And, um, yeah, I've, I got that razor quite a while ago. Well, not that particular one, but the first one that I had, and I gave that to my wife. Now, since I've not used it, and uh, I don't know when the heck I did the, uh, the order for the hard pucks, this was on offer, so I got me a second one to give it a go. Never tried the other one. Can you believe it? Had a razor sitting there and never tried it. <laughs> mm, strange. Yeah, no, but uh, I've heard this is a fairly mild razor, so we'll see how things go. I mean, this is, uh, yeah, like I said, three, three good days of stubble there. So we shall see, but I think it might work because We'll be using a Gillette Nasset stainless. Uh, haven't used that one in a while, and uh, looking forward to it. So let's open one up. I didn't even have an open pack. So let's get this out of the wrapper. Show you what that looks like. And uh, the only downside to these Nassets, they are a little bit heavy on the glue dots which I don't necessarily appreciate all too much, but it's acceptable. There you go. You see that in the center there? Yeah, so first use. Let's get this loaded up, three-piece razor. <sighs> Haven't even had this apart yet. So, as you can see, hold on, they copied the head design and base plate somewhat of the Gillette Tech with the four posts here. They did improve some on it uh, as far as deepening them, but a uh, very simplistic three-piece razor. So we'll just get the uh, mirror. Got a peek past here. Let's get this on there. I typically just lay it in my hand. That way you can't cut yourself, so it's just in there. Nothing special. Laying the base plate on top. There's a fairly heavy base plate compared to what Gillette had back in the day, which was a piece of metal or stamped metal. 
And this, I believe, could be zinc alloy. So, just checking the blade alignment, seeing if everything's straight and evenly exposed. Looks decent. You guys want to have a look? Very shiny razor. If you like shiny things, this might be for you. Now, we shall see how this works with this nice, somewhat unknurled handle. Very slick. Could be. We shall see. Now, soap. Uh, grabbed an old trusted friend, so to speak. Good old Chella. Hadn't used this in a while and was sitting right at the front. So I'm like, ooh. Yeah, that's what I'm feeling like today. Chella, just for information's sake, very soft. This is almost a cream. Um, almond scented, very traditional soap. Been around since 1899. Yeah. For those of you who don't speak Italian, I don't either, don't worry about it, but I can read numbers. So, um, yeah, good old traditional stuff uh, made with almond oil. If you're allergic to this, watch out. And it is a tallow soap. You can smell the tallow in this. It's not unpleasant, but you can smell it. So just for information's sake, it doesn't just smell like the almonds, it also smells a bit like tallow. But that's just my nose that's picking it up. Some people might not even register it. So. Brush for today, also very simplistic. I haven't used this in a couple of days. So The Balea Men bore brush, very inexpensive little uh, bore scrubber. It's well run in now. Took a little while though. Uh, it's like a four, a sub four euro brush. So, yeah, even that works well. And uh, since this is a very soft soap, it doesn't take a whole lot to lather up. As a matter of fact, you gotta watch out that you don't overload it too much because it is quite a thirsty soap. Very easily to scoop out. If you're bowl lathering or something like that, perfect. You just go in there with your hand and just scoop out a little bit and um, put that in your bowl. Basically, so I'm just gonna get some water on the face because I am somewhat anxious to see what this razor can do. And besides that, it's fairly late at night. So, yeah, so everybody do well on the weekend, anything interesting, let me know. Like I said, I didn't do much, just a little bit around the house, and trying to take it easy, had a fun, fun phone conversation with uh, Russell. Alex De Leon, Manny, aka SoCal Shaver, per video chat. It's like four way chat, all four of us at once. A very interesting concept. First time doing something like that. And it was great fun. So thank you for inviting me guys, for including me in that, it was just kind of, it was good, good fun. I didn't even know it was possible. So much for me and the technical stuff. But apparently over the face, or through the Facebook Messenger, you can do group calls. An interesting concept. Video quality was somewhat decent. Yeah, sure, there were some hiccups. But, uh, like I said, it wasn't like some sort of business meeting where things need to go fairly stable. This is just, you know, four guys shooting the breeze. <laughs> 
talking shaving, talking smack. <laughs> so, as you guys can see, it's fairly nice and thick lather, and you saw how thin it was when I started out. So, like I said, this stuff does take a decent amount of water. Alright, so, I'm interested to see this thing work. Razor Rock Tech 2 Gelatinous Set First Use. Let's see, Let's see what this does. That's a fairly heavy razor. <laughs> I'd almost say I'm not used to it anymore. Rinses very well. As you can see, there's quite a bit of a gap in there. Come on, focus. There we go. Quite a bit of a gap for the lather to escape. And this doesn't have a whole lot of feedback. It's got a fairly solid feel. Smooth. No. And the set is a fairly smooth blade. For me at least. Other people might say it's horrible. But, it's not just smooth, it's fairly sharp usually. And right now I'm not kind of getting a whole lot of that sharpness. Camera mount just made a weird noise. So this is evidently a fairly mild razor. <laughs> I'm not getting a whole lot of blade feel. Actually, really not much at all. That means I gotta watch out. It is taking down the stubble though. It is taking it down. Especially the, the uh, Zonal Slant that I have, but uh, it's not bad. Took it down. Uh, this is very nice and slick soap. Good rest slickness. Wow. Yeah, just a little bit of soap on there with some water. It takes a good bit to get it off your hands too. This is where it gets interesting with that uh, with the chrome. Now I've got wet hands and a little bit soapy. First pass with somewhat dry hands. Probably going to be okay. It wasn't that slippery. It gets interesting. But yeah. It really took the edge off of that uh, that Nisette. There's no blade feel at all. So a very mild razor. This is one that might actually work somewhat decent. Mm, okay. Sorry. Thought there was a hair. Somewhat decent with a feather blade. Although I'm not a big fan of feathers. But that's just personal preference. They're actually fairly well made blades, very sharp. But a little too sharp for my liking, a little too harsh. And too expensive. <laughs> for what they deliver.
And like I said, that is all personal preference. The thing that's getting me on this one, I think, is a little bit the uh, the rather solid feeling head. It's a big head. It's got no overhang, so it's rather large, and uh, it has no feedback, or very little, compared to what I'm used to. But. Giving a good shake. A little stormy outside. Got some decent rain rolling in right now. Temperatures have gone up all weekend long. We're in the 50s and 60s during the day. Smooth, mm -hmm. not quite as smooth as these are now, but very close. Tell you what, this is a solid feeling razor. I'm a little thrown off by the, like I said, by the handle weight and everything, and by the head weight. But that's probably due to the fact that I've used a lot of very lightweight razors lately. Got myself. I felt that too. I was wondering. Where I uh, didn't scratch, scratch, stretch the skin properly and kind of like a little tip. But the skin folded up. And got myself. Tell you what, guys, it's already feeling good, and Chella, of course, Chella's uh, feeling fantastic on the face. So, interesting razor. Kind of teed off at myself now that um, now that I'm finally shaving with it. It's kind of like, hey, this is giving a pretty darn good shave. I wish I would have tried it earlier since it's been around for so long. <laughs> so yeah, this is, I'm trying to get this shave knocked out a little bit. I'm sorry that I'm rushing a little bit. But uh, I want to go to bed. <laughs> so you will probably see... Pick up time. Probably see this uh, shave tomorrow on Tuesday. Since I gotta do all the, the editing and uploading and all that kind of stuff. And yesterday wouldn't have been a good date for uploading anyway. Uh, somehow the internet was on the fritz. trying to watch some shave videos and within a regular shave video let's say it takes 25 minutes that thing just interrupted probably around 10 times not so much fun then Typical trouble spots. And I'm having not a hard time finding the right angle, but due to its mildness, 
it is a little hard to read. You're not getting quite the feedback that uh, other razors give. That kind of make it easier to find the right angle. But it's very similar to a tech, to a regular Gillette tech. I do have to try this with a different handle. Maybe a little shorter handle uh, will suit me personally just a little bit better. A very hefty handle here. It's somewhat balanced more towards the handle than the head. And uh, besides that, it's fairly long too. So, anyway, I'm going to call this one. This is uh, just ever so slight. Still right here, but I'm going to let that go before I get any irritation. I'm really not looking forward to that. And besides that, I've just got to go to work tomorrow. So, let me completely rinse off and I'll be right back. And we are back. Wow. Cella makes that face feel really nice. <laughs> it's just, it, yeah. Feeling moisturized, feeling well. Really slick stuff. And, uh, yeah. Surprising results. Talk about it here in a second. First of all, witch hazel. Get some of that on there. and I'm not so chatty, but I hope I can convey the information. Not in entertainment mode today. Sorry. <laughs> but nonetheless, let's talk about uh, this little puppy here. The uh, Razor Rock Tech 2. For the money, definitely a better razor than I thought, to be quite honest. It, uh, it was mild, um, didn't give me the closest shave, but it, it's close. So close enough at least, and it was more efficient than I thought it would have been. Uh, very smooth shaving, not a lot of feedback, very solid feel in the head, not a lot of chatter. Uh, I think it held the blade very well, because you couldn't feel a lot of the blade either. Uh, not a lot of feedback, which usually tells you either it's a very solid head, which it is, but uh, also there is very little chatter, vibration of the blade. It doesn't sing, it doesn't vibrate. So, no, it was a very smooth shaving experience. I mean, it knocked out three days of stubble um, with no larger problems. I mean, no. for the money. I'll see, see how this does with different blades. The Nasset is a very sharp blade, a very efficient blade. I like it very much. And um, it did very well. So, hmm. good razor. Right now, from the first shave, I can definitely say very usable. Right, so as far as the other elements go, like I said, the uh, Nasset, Gillette Nasset, this one. Stainless blade. Uh, first use in that very nicely. Did well. Uh, good sharp blade. Um, it's quite up there. It's you know amongst uh, my sharper blades, right along there with you know fe say feather is the top. Um, the Nasset and the seven o'clock uh, yellows are right up in there also. So this is you know just slightly underneath maybe the feather blade. But, as far as I'm concerned, for me, it is smoother than any feather blade. So, yeah, that was very nice. Soap for today. Good old classic Italian cella. Great stuff. 
Now this is the older design. So, focus. It's the older design. Uh, I've had this soap for a good while. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'm just not making any headway through that. And uh, I've played around with it for plenty of times. So, <laughs> anyway, as you can see, used a bore brush today. This is the, uh, that you can read this, the Balea Men. It's a very cheap, well, not cheap, very inexpensive uh, German bore and uh, needs plenty of running in. It's uh, a little scrubby at the beginning when you get it. Uh, it did lose a good bit of hair, but nonetheless, it's still a decent knot. Um, so, apparently, it's just, you know, it stopped shedding at the right time. As far as the lather goes, a little bit left. There you go. Very slick stuff. Uh, doesn't show real well right now, but uh, some really nice sheen. Hold on. Focus. There we go. Very nice sheen. Very slick. Great stuff. Let me just wash that off. Before I drop some. So, yeah. That basically concludes the shave for today. I just need to find an aftershave. <laughs> I'll tell you what. Got some sitting right out there, which I have. The Equa Velva Musk. Very large opening. Something to be aware of. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, right there where I got myself, that's where it tingles. Mm. Great smelling stuff. Mm. Care to take some? <laughs> anyway, as you can see, it's a very large opening, so be careful. When you pour, all of a sudden you got half the bottle sitting on your hand. Anyway, let's see, that's it. For a Monday night, not bad. Looking sharp, <laughs> smooth shaven, feel good, feel somewhat tired, heading to bed. Good night guys, be safe, hope you guys have a, or had a good start to the week and are now off, well off into the Tuesday. Have a good one guys, I'll see you around, thank you, bye. <laughs>